gentlemen, please welcome our national championship coach, Kirby Smart. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Being here today on Dooley Field brings back a lot of special memories uh, for me. But as our players sit to my left and right, all these guys over here and all these guys over here, what you 95,000, 100,000 people don't get to see is these guys in here at 6 a.m. about a year ago this time, running on this field, sweating, uh, blood, tears. Before we came out today, the first thing a lot of these guys were thinking about is how much work they did in this stadium in the morning. And I want to give these guys a round of applause for all they've done for this university. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up. Thank you, guys. A lot of people to thank. You know, you, you, you don't get success in life. You don't have um, the things we've been able to have without support. And, uh, you know, I spent a long time wanting to get back to Georgia, but it was very important to me that I got back to a place that could support the kind of football program that we wanted to have, that this state deserves. And that wouldn't happen without our administration. President Moorhead, Josh Brooks, Greg McGarity, who was here when I got here, Therese Griffin, I have a tremendous amount of respect for our administration. We have uh, really accelerated our facilities. That wouldn't be possible without the support of our administration and without the support of our fan base. And to you guys, I say thank you, and I say thanks to our administration. Give them a round of applause, please. I want to personally thank Greg Sankey and Governor Kemp for being here today. They took time out of their busy schedules to be here with us. They are two tremendous leaders. And anytime you talk about being in the position they're in, governor and commissioner of our conference, you better be a strong leader in today's day and age. And I appreciate them. I'd also like to take a special, special thanks to our staff and their families. A lot of them are centered right in this area over here, but I don't think the average fan, I don't even know if our players and their families, I don't know that Dog Nation understands the sacrifices that the families of the staff, forget about the coaches. Coaches don't live for accolades. Coaches don't live for standing ovations. They live for the men that go out in the field and play for them. But their families make a tremendous sacrifice. For this dog nation, for you people, our team wouldn't be as successful without the families of these coaches, these wives, that spend so much time away from their husbands and raising their families. So I want to give our staff a tremendous round of applause for how much they sacrifice. This is how it started. So I don't know if you paid attention to media days, but it popped out at me when I was thinking back to this season. Success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it. Henry David Thoreau. That embodies this team. They, they, they never embraced the success. They never acknowledged the success. You know what they kept doing? They just kept chopping wood. They just kept chopping wood. This program will never change from that quote. Because when you start looking for success, you start acknowledging success, is when you lo lose it. This program was built on hard work and sacrifice. I look across this field, over here, a lot of these former players that helped build this program long before I came and some while we were here. To walk in our locker room today and see four or five guys that were in that 2017 locker room, the, the, the lasting memory I have of them is tears in their eyes falling one play, one second short. We wouldn't be here today 
without those same men that gave so much for UGA. To those former players and guys that have been here, I say thanks. You know, it's, 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 it's not easy to sit up here today because I, I can't figure out if I keep getting goosebumps because I'm getting goosebumps or I'm just cold. But it, it's a really special moment when I hear the names of the people that keep getting called, okay? I want to think back to when this, thing, this whole thing started. 93K Day started right here in the spring of 2016, and you guys answered the bell as fans, and we appreciate you. I've seen you take over Indy twice. We're requesting to get part ownership in that state because I've seen you take over Indy twice. You guys have been tremendous. You travel wherever we go and you take over stadiums. I have a lot of appreciation for that. It makes this a special place. You know, we have a tremendous group of uh, different prospects here. And when you have that, they acknowledge a fan base that loves this university, that learn loves its state, and these players do the same thing. You make it special. One thing about connection. We mentioned connection. If you had to say there's one theme of this team, every one of these players can tell you. One plus one equals one plus one equals three in our system because we know we're greater together. We are better together. We learned that this year with this team. They took a strong leap forward into buying into the beliefs within the organization. And I don't want to single any one person out, but our players know we had several team meetings where they stood up and talked. And I asked them, what's different about this team? And to a T, every man talked about the buy-in of the organization. We had guys who didn't work playing, and they said, what's different about this team, coach, is we know our role, but every team knows their role, every player knows their role. We're bought into our role. We understand that if we're not the starter, we're to support the starter. If we're the backup, we're supposed to be ready to play. And guys bought into that. Fifth-year seniors bought into that, and I respect that. I respect that because these men bought into that, and it was strong. Going back to the word connection, you know, I think back, I look around the stadium, and there's connection at every turn. You know, I look up, and Coach Dooley's name across that field, and I think about the connection, and one of the first people I saw after that national championship was to hug Coach Dooley's neck, and for what he's meant to this state and this city is tremendous. He's given so much and so much sacrifice. Thank you, Coach Dooley. Coaches here long before me, Coach Goff, Coach Donning, Coach Rick, meant so much to this university and myself, and were so close so many times. All the hundreds and thousands of players that played here before this group, since the uh, 80 group, is really tremendous, and so many people have reached out. That 1980 team, you'll never be forgotten. You guys have been tremendous. They've supported us, and they've wanted this to happen, and after 41 years, it's happened, and it's really special. So as I wrap up, because I know these players want me to shut up so they can go get warm and get out of here, but it's moments and events like this that allow us to look back and allow us to look forward. And you look back to honor and appreciate three super seniors, guys like Schaefer, Wyatt, Rochester, who came back with an opportunity to do something special. Julian Rochester crying in the SEC championship locker room will always be kind of burnt into my memory and was a driving force for me to work to get us back for an opportunity to win that because he was in that locker room in 2017. He was in that SEC championship locker room, but he was damn sure in that locker room in Indy too, and it meant a lot to a lot of people. Four captains, you'll be remembered forever for this team, voted on by their peers. Jordan Davis, Jamari, Zamir, Nakobe, special leaders. The thing that will resonate with me and I'll remember the most is there was no defined one leader. And I've heard people say that, I never understood it. There was not one leader. There really wasn't four leaders. There were a bunch of leaders on this team. But for, the, for those four guys to get named captain, it's really special. A tremendous honor to coach a group that was as connected as this group was. So it's also important to look forward, challenge the remaining uh, new players that are arriving, new players that are remaining with our team, that a new standard of excellence has been set. Excellence in leadership, 
excellence moving forward, we expect them to hold that same standard for a long time to come at UGA. So that brings me to this point, and this is how it ended. We're burning the boats, baby, and we're coming back. Go dogs! Thank you.